Hi, my name is Huang Mix, and my presentation is on parental, individual, and neighborhood level social economic measurements as predictors of childhood health outcomes. It is well known that parental social economic status, or SES, is associated with childhood health, likely via intellectual, material, and psychological effects. The most common parental individual level SES measurements are parental education and occupation, of which parental education is more frequently used as it is often recorded on both registry. Due to the lack of availability of integral level SES in medical records, parental neighborhood level SES measurements are often used as proxy. However, can parental SES measurements be used interchangeably? Our study aimed to assess whether the effect of parental SES on childhood mortality and morbidity varies based on different parental SES measurements. Our data was pulled from the Utah Population Database, one of the world's richest databases containing linked demographic and medical information from 17 data sources on over 11 million individuals living in Utah from the late 19th century to the present. It is a powerful and unique tool that has supported research in various films. Our study population is children born in Utah between 1978 and 2008 with known parental information. Parental SES were collected from both certificates, including parental education, occupational status, and median household income for the census tract of the maternal residents of birth. The outcomes of interest were childhood mortality, asthma, and fellow to thrive diagnosis prior to age 18. We observed weak correlation between parental individual and neighborhood level SES with Pearson coefficient ranges from 0.17 to 0.23. The low correlation suggests that these SES measurements may capture different populations with varying demographic profile. Within individual level SES, parental education and occupational status were moderately correlated with Pearson coefficient ranges from 0.45 to 0.52. It is important to note that parental occupations were no longer recorded in Utah birth certificates after 2008, and researchers using birth certificates have been relying on parental education, most commonly mothers, as proxy for parental occupational status, given the lack of strong correlation between parental education and occupational status. This strategy might be inadequate. We then analyzed the association between each SES measurement and the three different childhood health outcomes using logistic regression models, additionally adjusted for gender, birth year, race, ethnic city, birth county of the child, and maternal age and marital status. Results demonstrated that parental education was strongly associated with reduced risk of childhood mortality and morbidities, with maternal education showing a stronger effect. Interestingly, only parental occupational status and neighborhood household income in quartiles two and three show significantly decreased risk of childhood mortality and morbidity compared to quartile one, while increased risk of childhood asthma was observed in children with parental occupational status in the highest quartile. The heterogeneous associations of parental SES measurements found with childhood health outcomes suggested that different parental SES indicators could affect health through unique pathways. In conclusion, while parental individual and neighborhood level SES measurements all have effect on childhood health, they signify different access to different forms of resources and life advantages, and even though correlated, should not be used interchangeably. I would like to acknowledge my team members who have contributed to this project and thank the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health and the Utah Population Database for funding support. If you would like to learn about my, my, my poster, please download the QR code or email me at whom.mix at Thank you for your time.